Hello everyone, I'm Rare for Sometimes Foodie, and I'm back reshooting another video. You can tell because I'm still in my same outfit. So I actually have Super Kiwi Fruit. This is another one of the bottled ramen sodas with a marble. And I did Super Lemon a few months ago here on YouTube. And it's supposed to be, the whole super aspect, super is meant to be sour. So it's supposed to be a super sour ramen. There's a candy by Nobel. It's called Super Lemon. It also comes in Super Umeboshi, Super Soda, Super Cola, all these different flavors. And it's a layered candy similar to American Warheads, where there's like a powder coating on the outside and then a hard candy on the inside, where they kind of shift intensity. So it'll be like a sweet candy inside and a super sour powder, or in the case of Super Umeboshi, like a sour pickled powder. Now, the Super Lemon I've reviewed on the blog, I love the packaging, I love Nobel. But it's not super sour, it's, it's mildly sour. Other flavors of the, the Nobel Super Line are more intense than others. These are trying to play off of that whole Super Line of candies. So that's what the Super Kiwi Fruit and the last time Super Lemon are parodying. They're trying to parody that super intense sour candy thing. So sour ramen sounded like a really cool idea and then I tried the lemon one in my previous video. I'll link that one probably down below or either in the, the end of the video I'll put an annotation. That one was, it was really yummy and refreshing, but sour, it was not. It was definitely not a sour ramen. It's tangy, if anything, like slightly tangy. I was really hoping that these were going to be super sour, and that was going to be like the whole fun thing of it, but so far, lemon let me down, but maybe kiwi will boost me back up. So I'm going to do a cutaway and show you how to open a marble soda, and then we'll come back and give it a taste. All right, so here we have our bottle of ramen. It has a plastic film on the top. You're going to look for the perforated line, grab a tab, and just pull that down. So that removes that, and you just remove the plastic. The plastic is what's holding the plastic plunger to the bottle. So that's pretty much garbage. You can just discard that. It actually has instructions on it. If you ever wanted to open a bottle of ramen, they usually have instructions printed on the plastic that you just kind of throw away. I don't really need those. So now we have this plastic piece here, and this is a plunger in the middle. So I have long nails, so it's a little tricky, but you want to push that little plunger piece out from that plastic kind of casing. So now we have the plastic casing and we have the plunger. The plunger goes at the top where the marble is. The marble is sealing the soda in by pressure. So you take the palm of your hand, you kind of just add the plunger to the palm of your hand. You just want to put some pressure, push down, and the marble will dislodge into the bottle, allowing you to drink the soda. And you might want to hold your hand there for a few seconds because the pressure can sometimes cause the soda to bubble up over the top. But that's pretty much it. That's how you open your bottle of ramen. -ay. Okay, so we have our ramen open. We have our marble in here. And I guess we'll see how it smells first. It doesn't smell like kiwi at all. Can you guys hear the marble rolling around? But it doesn't smell like kiwis at all. This smell is straight up green apple Jolly Rancher lollipops. I ate those so often in the early 2000s. Those were when they were like fairly new in lollipop form. I was crazy about them. I was eating all these different lollipops. The cherry was my absolute favorite. I had like green apple was like third best. It was like cherry, watermelon, and green apple. But this smells the same way those green apple ones taste. That sweet, very syrupy tanginess. That's what this is. Now, does it taste like a kiwi? No. And is it sour? No. This is tangy at best. The same way that a Jolly Rancher is kind of tangy and kind of bold, that's what this is. This is tangy, bold Jolly Rancher soda. It's pleasant enough, but it's another fail. Like, the whole sour thing is supposed to be bold and intense. That's what the super is. It's super sour. And it's it's just not. So, well, I like the color. I like this this green color, and I like the, the packaging. And marble sodas are always fun to, to pop in. It's always a fun novelty. But as a drinkable soda, I don't see myself craving this again. It's, it's a very sweet, fun, one-off novelty. Like, ah, I tried this. And I think that's all it is. I don't think there's people seeking this one out to drink it over and over again. It's an okay flavor, like I said, but it's a novelty. It's just for fun. So if you really like Green Apple Jolly Ranchers, I would highly suggest this. But don't be put off by the whole sour and super. It's 
if that's what you're looking for, you're going to be really disappointed. It's more Jolly Rancher, bold, intense flavor than anything else. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!